you can give yourself a vision test at home with this. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I just found something that is amazing. This thing is actually a game changer for people that wear glasses. And spoiler alert, right here, I wear glasses. Now, you may be at home, maybe sheltered in place, what have you, or you may be like me, and going out and getting an eye exam to buy new glasses is just kind of inconvenient. One, you gotta schedule the time to do it. It takes a while. You gotta go to a, an optometrist. It's 50 bucks, or at the very least, there's a copay. And then buying the glasses there can be one of the most expensive places to buy them of course ordering glasses online has totally disrupted that business but often you can't get that prescription they don't want to give that up to you well enter this this is iq this is an at-home vision test and this little box has just about everything but i want to focus on the pieces that allow you to get the information that you need to order glasses yourself and then i want to tell you about my experience using this and ordering glasses so first of all let's take a look at what you get you get this hard case here and it comes with a bunch of stuff now you can order Order these components separately but if you order this complete case it comes with just about everything you need and then more so so up here we get some of the straps that you might need this one is actually for the vision test down here for that piece it also comes with a micro USB cable right here and it also comes with this rubber strap to hold this little device onto your phone and I'm gonna show you that here in a minute it does come with instructions, but I will also say on the IQ YouTube channel, they have a lot of instructional videos on how to use these devices. So I'm going to leave it up to them to go into the details on it, but I'm going to give you a little crash course on how you can use these to get a pair of glasses for yourself. First of all, you're going to need to give yourself that vision test. And this is the test that you would normally look at a chart that is off on the wall and you say E P Q F E E. And of course, I didn't think you could mimic that at home with a big contraption that shows you different lenses. Better, worse, better, worse. But this little device here will do almost everything that that does and it's super easy to use. Now, first thing I'm gonna tell you is you have to download the Vision Check app from the App Store. Now, once you download that, you're going to create an account. And in your particular kit, there'll be a little QR code or a little authorization code in there uh, just to validate that you've actually bought this. And then you can set up an account and start using this. Now, this little device takes a little while to figure out, but it's not bad. Now, I'm going to explain it in a really general form. So once you open up the app, connect this to your phone via Bluetooth. You can see where you're going to place this device into the little square that it gives you. Next, you're going to take this little rubber strap and hook it onto these little protrusions on the side so that it stays in place on your phone. Now on the top of this device, it may not be super easy to see, but there are two controls and these are capacitive buttons so they don't actually depress. So you will just kind of tap them and you will hear and feel the device working. So what you're going to do is you have two buttons that will move the bars that you're going to see in the testing app. What you're going to do is you're going to line the two bars and the buttons right here are going to either move the bars closer together or further apart. And then to complete it, once you've aligned those lines, you're going to hit this button. So let me explain what's going to happen. You are going to go ahead and activate the app. Now it's gonna tell you which eye and which step of the vision test you're at. So you're going to bring this device up to your eye and there are gonna be a couple little slits in there. And if you can't see it, kind of move your eye back and forth because your pupil needs to be lined up with a little slit. So you might have to move it back and forth. And then once you're ready to go, once you can see those lines, you're gonna look off in the distance, at least six feet off in the distance. And I can tell you that this is an important part because if you're focusing right on those lines, what's gonna end up happening is that I think the numbers that you're gonna get are gonna be biased towards nearsightedness. So you wanna make sure that you're looking off in the distance. What it's gonna help here is to make sure that you're in a room or looking out at a window where there's an object that's at least six feet away because you're gonna to wanna to focus on that. Now, once the test begins, you're going to hit the buttons, tap them either to bring the lines closer together. And my experience with this is that as you're tapping the lines to bring them closer together, uh, sometimes you overshoot it. And that's when you're gonna to wanna to use that second button to move them back the other way to get them to overlap. And then, um, so that you can't see two separate lines. And then you're gonna hit that farthest third button to complete that step. 
Now the lines are going to reorient. You may have to move your pupil around a little bit to see them. And then you're going to go through this process again, tapping that first button to bring those lines together. Use those two buttons in conjunction to kind of dial it in. And then you just go through that and then it will have you go through those same steps on the other eye. Now I will tell you that you do need to do this at least three times. The app needs at least three measurements from both eyes to create your numbers. And that's because it's going to average them out to take into account any variation and to get rid of any outliers. Now the beauty of this thing is that you can continue to take readings and improve the score even more so. Now once you're done with this, it's going to give you all of the numbers that you will generally see on a prescription from your optometrist. Now, I want to be clear here. This is not a prescription. A prescription is something that has to be written by a doctor to give to you. But these are all the numbers that you need to order glasses. And if you go onto a website like Zenny Optical or one of the online glasses stores, this is where you will enter that all the numbers that you'll need like axis and spherical. You can put all those in and you will be ready to order the glasses. Now there's a key to this. There's a second number that you generally need to order glasses. So now we know what lens you need over each eye. But when they mill those lenses for you for the glasses and the frames that you choose, they want to make sure that the prescription area is right on top of your eye. And so to do that, you are going to need to provide the pupillary distance for your eyes. Enter this little box here, the pupillary distance check pair of glasses. And I was excited to see these because I've ordered glasses online before and it's actually really difficult to get pupillary distance. But you can see here, you just get a plastic set of frames. They do come with a code. Uh, printed on the inside arm here, which is what you're going to need. So you're going to download the PD app from IQ. And now what you're going to do here is log into that app and you're going to put on these glasses. And now what you can see are the T's that are on the glasses here. And these are known distances. And so you're going to use the app. You're going to basically take a selfie. It's well lit so that you can mark where your pupils are and then take a picture of yourself. And now it's going to identify where these T's are as well as your pupils. Now you can do some adjustments within the app just to make sure that everything lines up. But the output from this is the exact pupillary distance that you need because you wanna make sure those lenses are placed correctly into the frames that you order. So now, if you've done both of these things, you now have the numbers that you need to order the lenses. You also have the pupillary distance, and now you can go onto a website like Zenny or any of the other online glass manufacturers, put in the information, shop around for the different glasses that you like, and order them. Fast forward. I went ahead and did that from Zenny.com, Zenny Optical, and I ordered these glasses using the numbers that I got from the IQ. And these are the glasses. Now ordering them online means that you're probably gonna save quite a bit of money over buying them in a local distributor. So I ordered these glasses and was able to get kind of all the features I wanted. And I thought I would just put these on and tell you what the results are for me. These glasses are awesome. Now it's probably been a couple years since I've gone to the optometrist to get my eyes checked. And so I probably need to do that. Usually as you age, your eyes change as well. And so for us wearing glasses, and typically as your eyes change, your prescription is going to get further and further off. And so having the ability to go ahead and check your eyes on a regular basis and then order new glasses is just gonna make your life easier. It's gonna put less strain on your eyes. It's gonna be just more comfortable. You're gonna be happier. You'll probably avoid headaches. Now, I will tell you, as I'm looking around here, I'm seeing everything great. And in fact, one of the things that I've noticed now using these glasses, especially when I'm at my computer, because things are sharper right around me, you know, it's less strain on my eyes. I don't feel as fatigued. I can seem to get more work done. I can read things longer. I can work longer. It just makes everything more pleasurable. You don't realize when things aren't quite as crisp as they normally are over long periods of time until you get a new set of glasses and everything is just really, really sharp. So that is great. Plus you get all the new technology, you know, the anti-glare and things like that. So this little device here, this vision check, 
combined with the pupillary distance glasses has allowed me to go ahead and measure my own eyes and order glasses. And this thing has absolutely changed my life. No longer do I have to call and make appointments and wait around an optometrist's office and then try to be sold glasses in their facility. Now I can just do it whenever I feel like I might have to update my prescription, get my numbers, go online, order them, get them quickly. And man, this is really, really great. So not only can I get these glasses, now I can get appropriate sunglasses or recreational glasses as well. I am just thrilled that I discovered IQ. And I will tell you what, I reached out to the people there and they were awesome enough to provide me with this full kit so that I could share it with you. And so I really appreciate that because without something like this, uh, for a lot of people, maybe you're sheltered at home, maybe it's just not easy for you to get out, maybe you live in an area where you don't have easy access to an optometrist, maybe you're traveling or living abroad. You know, a package like this allows you to constantly have the right prescription, which is absolutely amazing. The other thing I want to tell you is that not only can you order these pieces individually, which are really inexpensive, but this entire entire kit is very, very affordable. So if you ever go to the optometrist and pay that $50 for that eye exam, I think you're going to find that this is a great, great deal and it's probably going to save you a lot of money over the long run. I will put a link to this set in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out.